want to move over to this. If you're healthy, a new study suggests you might as well skip your annual physical. General, general medical checkups, according to a new study, for healthy adults may not really be as beneficial as people tend to think. Wall Street Journal's Shirley Wong joins us now to discuss results from the new study. Shirley, good morning. Good morning. Now, the headline from this study seems to be, if you're healthy, don't bother going to the doctor on an annual basis. Now, is, is that how people should read it? It's a little more complicated than that, of course. What it does suggest is that general medical checkups like an annual physical, if you're healthy and you're just sort of getting a general checkup, may not actually help prevent disease or more importantly, uh, delay death. Um, but what it does, doesn't suggest, what it doesn't address is that there might be specific uh, preventive services that would still be beneficial. So it's not to say don't go to your doctor, but rather what they sort of do in a general checkup might not be the right way to go. It might be they need to focus on these very specific tools that are known to be effective. Okay, now let's get to some of those in a, in a second, but my, my big question with this study, which was actually a study of studies, when you break it down, now you, you may feel healthy, but without going in for some of those checkups, how do you know if you have high blood pressure? How do you know if you've got high cholesterol? Well, it's exactly a, a great question. So the study, like you said, was a review of 14 other very big studies, and they, um, that's one of the questions, like how do you know if somebody's healthy when they show up? And that's always been the, qu the reason why people say you should go to your doctor annually, um, you know, because you never know what's wrong. But it, studies like this review suggest that, in fact, if you feel okay, you don't have any symptoms, you know, the likelihood that they're going to catch something wrong with you, um, at least as in terms of, say, heart attack, you know, something that might lead to a heart attack or, or cancer, um, the, the chances of that seem to be fairly small. Okay, and now you did say a second ago that certain screenings do have value. Wh which ones are those? Well, there are a whole slew of them. There's a, a U.S. Um, task force that specifically goes through the literature to figure out which t kinds of preventive services are effective. So, for example, um, different kinds of uh, diabetes screening for people who have actually uh, moderately high blood pressure for that group of people, doing diabetes screening is helpful. But for people who have normal blood pressure, then they probably don't need that. That's an example of a type of service where it, even if you don't know if you have diabetes, but if you do have high, moderately high blood pressure, that might be a good thing for you. Okay, briefly, Shirley, what are some of the screenings that may not be valuable? Well, this general, this sort of general physical exam, if, if the doctor isn't focused on something specific, that might be, um, that might be a, a problem. So um, if you are just getting your, uh, you're going to the doctor for a stress test, you know, to see if there's something wrong with your heart, if you have no symptoms and you're not at high risk, then um, this U.S. task force has, has found that that actually doesn't seem to be helpful at all. Okay. Shirley, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Sure.